So we never did nothing with the zucchini. I never made bread and there's like some more outside. So I'm just gonna make a big zucchini pasta real quick. Uh, and then they can have some if they want some. But um, yeah, we still got all the zucchini. So, all right, so I'm gonna do these. Um, they're big, they're huge. So I'm gonna have to cut them. Um, they're huge. I'm gonna have to cut these, saute them with like olive oil, some seasoning, some little water to steam them. I'm gonna do that in this pan. In this pan, I'm going to do mushrooms. I'm going to do some peppers, like color peppers, jalapeno pepper, maybe a red. Um, who is this? I forget who. what I'm growing. This is like a poblano that Christopher picked too early. There's a bunch of peppers outside. Well, it's wet. I'm not going out there. So I'll cut this up. I'm going to throw tomato paste. You know, I like it thick. And I found this in the back of the pantry. Throw that up in there. Um, use a little bit of vegetable broth that'll help like for it not to be so thick and then some um, Italian diced tomatoes, so let me get it started and then I'll be back <laughs> All right, so I have the mushrooms some garlic took me forever to open a jar because my oldest came home and you know Everything's too tight for me to open because he tightens things like uh, his mama got strength. I don't <laughs> Not that kind. All right, so peppers, sweet peppers, mushrooms, garlic, a little bit of olive oil. That's what's in this pan here. I did add just a teeny bit of vegetable broth to the, uh, oh, that's hot chai. Okay, you're going to have to turn that one. What you're not going to do is burn me. I did add a bit of um, vegetable broth to the um, zucchini so they can kind of steam, get just a little bit softened. You don't want it mushy. You just want to give a little something, something. And then once the, I see they're just about where I want them to be almost, then I'm going to turn it off. I'm only going to leave it on about five, six minutes. You know, once it gets hot, turn it off. And then I'll add like the mushrooms and everything with the sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tomatoes and the tomato paste to the uh, veggies. We're gonna use this. I am going to add just a little bit of vegetable broth to give it some um, some liquid to break up the actual paste. I don't know, like three tablespoons or something like that. All right, pour the sauce. I'm gonna put a little bit more vegetable broth in here, like halfway, and then put the top on, shake it up like you do with water. I just use the vegetable broth instead. I'm going to add that to this. I probably should make noodles too, so if the kids want noodles instead of the um, zucchini, they can, but or they can make noodles. I'm going to add some um, dried herbs. This is from like my garden last year, basil and probably thyme and all that. <laughs> See here, they're like um, softening up and soften it like a little flimsy. So this is how I want it. I don't want it like all the way soft because I'm actually going to add this sauce into here. All right, since I have to wait anyway <laughs> for my food to like, for the, the uh, zucchini to absorb everything like I want it, I'm just going to make noodles. And I'm just going to try not to eat a lot of them because I know I'm going to eat some. And no use of lying y'all. It's 12 o'clock. She had not had and I'm starving. And uh, this pomegranate or uh, palm juice is not filling me up. So, don't it look like I got some red wire, friend? <laughs> Crazy. Antioxidants, girl, getting to it. So, I'm going to be a good mother today and make some spaghetti noodles because I know my kids like uh, chunky spaghetti sometimes, like with the chunky like veggies and stuff like that. So, I know they'll eat that if I make the noodles. All right, so I did add pesto to the noodles like I normally do. Um, this right here, I did add that.
Just a little bit of sriracha, and I'm going to take some of the kids' parmesan. Just a little bit. Like the real parmesan. Just a little bit, girl. Because y'all know I don't do cheese, but I will eat like a sprinkle of parmesan. So I finally get to eat. <laughs> I'm one of those people, when I say I'm hungry, you better feed me. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. So this is our pasta and everything. Peppers and zucchini from the garden. I could have had tomatoes from the garden because I have a million tomatoes right now. And a bunch in the windowsill that's trying to turn. Um, yeah, and everything else is what it is. So... This is um, brunch. It's 12 o'clock. It's my breakfast and lunch. So I guarantee these kids are going to tear this up. So it's my first time making a funnel cake. And um, yeah, I think I did pretty good. If I must say so myself. Look how pretty. Too bad I can't eat it. But um, yeah, she did that, friend. So yes, the little funnel does work from Aldi. I just got to make my own batter next time, child. But that's cute. Just call me Funnel Cake Queen. Here is a, another one. And, yeah, let me know what y'all think. Have y'all tried the um, Funnel Cake batter from Aldi? If so, what are your thoughts? I would rate this about, I, well, I don't know what it tastes like. So, I'm just going to say a, 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 a 9 out of 10. Hey, y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Actually, hold on. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Ah, oh, my earpiece is still on. Hold on. Ah, oh, why is it still on? All right. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. So I was thinking about going to. Um, I keep thinking Joe's Crab Shack, but it's not called that. It's called um, Steamboat. Um, is it Steamboat? I think it's Steamboat. <laughs> to have this avocado like shrimp salad thing. It's really good. I like it. I really can't eat shrimp like that just every once in a while because I have um, a very sensitive palate when it comes to iodine. And often I can taste it. But I had a taste for it. And I was going to take the girls and we all get this, these salads. And I thought, <laughs> we got everything at home, okay? No, we not. So, um, we got some shrimp that was already like the pre-cooked frozen shrimp. They thawed out. After they thawed out. I'm gonna go ahead and put them right back in this bowl here. I just had to get some of that moisture off. So they're in here. I am going to toss them. Let's put y'all up here if y'all don't mind. Well, all right, so I'm just gonna toss them with um, some of the salad dressing right here, just to give it some kind of like flavor. Um, let's find some seasoning. So I buy these salts from my local like farmers market here. One is the original, and one has plum, I think. Yeah, this one has plum. This is original. This is teas gourmet seasoning, and they are low salt. And I think one is no salt. But um, I'll try to find her IG and link her down below. Uh, black on, and we love it. And we support. So what do we want? We want something different. Let's go with the little plum flavor. Um, y'all probably seen me use these before. Yeah, this smells like a, a seasoning. That's all it is. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of this. Just a little bit. It's not even a whole uh, teaspoon on here and just toss it all real good. It's going to just flavor our shrimps. But they ain't nothing like some old regular. I'm telling y'all, I can really taste the iodine. It's the funniest thing, but um, at least I'm not allergic to it, right? All right, so this is done. And actually, I still have these from when I was making the crab dip for the kids, the faux crab, even though this does contain um, fish and something else, I think. So it's not like, I forget what it says. It contains something, and I remember saying, oh, this ain't uh, vegetarian, but anyway. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to toss that in here too. Now, this way they have like some, something to kind of like chew on. Like a meaty texture or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I know y'all ask me about these knives all the time. Y'all, these knives came from um, either Costco or Sam's. They're just the like, um, Cuisinart ones, inexpensive. I just pick them up every once in a while. Uh, when I see them, I don't know if you can see the brand. Quizmark. Um, 
I have some cut code knives and they're very sharp and very expensive. I never use them. But um, I used to really just be on this kick about knives and I do use certain knives for certain things if I really want something sharp and to cut. So I can say that. All right, so we're gonna get this in here. Just like a quick summer salad, right? That's all we wanna do is toss all this together Y'all, I love this dressing. Y'all get this from um, Sam's. It is so freaking good. The kids like it too. So I guess we need more. We might have one more in the pantry. So this is what this is looking like. Um, girl, let me get some green onions. So I just ran outside and got some chives. And uh, we're gonna put these chives up in here. They smell so freaking good. Um, yeah, they do. They smell so good. I wanted purple onions, which I might still put purple onions on top of mine. I just know that I like them all crunchy, and the girls might not want that. All right, so I'm gonna put these in here too. And yeah, that's in there. All right, so let's get to the good part. Uh, who we got this one from? I guess maybe Costco. I don't know. I hope that's enough for us three. Probably not. All right. All right. So I did put the salad in here, and all I'm going to do is toss it with this right here, which is the avocado ranch. Um, that's all I'm gonna do, and then I'll just put everything else on top. Like once we're done with the um, actual uh, salad bowls, when I make them, do I have mine? I don't. Toss this a little bit. Um, we need the um, because it's an avocado shrimp salad. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's enough. It might be enough. All right. So first, I think I'm gonna do the um, these first. the banana peppers first. Just a few. <clears throat> Child, my mouth is water. Uh, Parmesan cheese. We're going to, we never tossed this, this shrimp and, what's it, crab or lobster? What did that thing say? Cause I think we have one of those crab and one was lobster. So, yeah, I'm gonna just put this on top like this. Make it pretty. Go ahead and get this out. Oh, girl, that's pretty. Hold on, let me show you. All right, let me show you for you. Here is their avocado salad. It's just really simple. Mine not gonna look like this. Mine gonna have a little some mixture, which is going to be the um, red onion. So, so here is mine. So I have a few shrimp. I think like about five or six little ones. Some purple onions. I added arugula and spinach to mine as well. And um, yeah, cause y'all know I like arugula and spinach in my salad. And uh, we still got couple shrimps left in here and half avocado sit that there for right now and I'm about to eat this lunch so it's like 2 30 here but um I have somewhere to go today and I didn't want to be hungry in the streets girl let me tell you what this wig reminds me of it reminds me of when Wendy Whitney Houston right 19 what 90 something come on Whitney mm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got this bowl of tomatoes. It's pretty big. I have some more in the refrigerator. I think I'm going to go through them and see what's in here. Wash these. And let me pull out the other one. So I have these two, which these will be good too. 
all these are these little bitty ones so that's two bowls just from yesterday and today's like um haul from outside all right so i want to roast this salsa but i really don't feel like waiting for it in the oven so i'm gonna wash these um put some of these in the air fryer toss it with some olive oil and sea salt and just see if we can kind of like roast them that way i have two packs of cilantro i have all these purple onions i'm gonna chop up some of these i'm gonna throw these in the uh, um, air fryer too I normally like put everything on the pan when I want like the roasted flavor of a salsa, but I don't want to. So I'm going to try something and I just figured I'll film and show y'all. I have some garlic and I know we have peppers um, in the fridge from picking peppers. So How pretty these Roma tomatoes came out from the garden. Aren't they pretty? So uh, tomatoes like these, I'm going to do these. So All right. So here are the cherry ones first i'm going to also add the jalapenos in here i'm just going to take the stems off and toss them too all right just a little bit of pink salt i am going to use some of this um olive oil spray just a little bit and get it in here. all right so it has been around um i think like seven minutes you can tell they're roasting you can tell that the peppers or roasting so this is good enough uh, for right now and then I'm gonna put the other ones that I washed and cut up in here as well I am going to use they're having tacos today by the way I am going to use my food processor so I need to get these into here uh, I'm gonna let them cool for a second before I blend though just so you know all right and a couple of onions not a lot because um they were no good. How about that? So it's less onions than I thought I would have. But the tomatoes and the onions are in here. And I wish I had some more peppers, but I know the kids don't want them anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put it in here by seven, eight minutes. All right, so this isn't a recipe. This is just me trying something, you know, see how it come out kind of thing. Since we had abundance of tomatoes, put like two heapings of um, garlic um, in here. Remember, I still have a lot of tomatoes left. And um, plus, I got over there onions. All right, so I should have probably chopped the uh, peppers separately. It's all good. Don't. It's not gonna be this thin anyway. Just so you know, I gotta add cilantro. Some more um, tomatoes. All right. I just washed one bag of celery since I don't know how much we have. Not celery, girl. Cilantro. <laughs> I'm dripping. Because I don't know how much we actually um, have in onions or whatever to make with this. So, yeah, just one bag for now. Child, let me tell you, in a minute, I ain't going to have no reason to turn this oven on. You hear me? You see all this? You see all this? This look like, uh, well, this is my skin. But you see this roastedness kind of like look? Yes, indeed. So we don't have limes. Evidently, they ate them up. Yeah, evidently. We do have lemons. I'm just going to kind of stir this up a little bit. I might have to throw it back into the food process just a little bit for the chunkiness, for the chunky parts of the onions. All right, so... A little spicy. Go ahead, get a chip. That's just a lot spicy. It's warm. I know. Them chips be salty. Mmm. It's good. Spicy. You got um guinea pig hair on you. We'll pack it back. All right. Let me show y'all what it looked like. Yep. See. Air fries to also, friend. I ain't put this in the oven no more. All right, so I have to say, the goal was to make two of these, but one is enough. I mean, for now, we just have to make another one. Let me get in that bowl, so I don't know what I'm thinking. Let me tell you, them kids don't come in here and they're going to tear this up. This is not going to last. Half of this will be gone before the end of the night. I did put some lemon in here and a little bit of sea salt, just so you know. Girl, look at God. 